Welcome back. All signs starting with Aries, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with another Aries Leo Sag, keep in mind, roles can be reversed. If it is not your story, acknowledge, move on. Check back next time. Check your other placements. Four of Swords reversed. What else? This person wants to come in in a hurry and have a discussion. Very passionate one for damn sure. Hangman. I don't know that you can trust them or they don't trust you. Also can be a Pisces. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This person is very upset about this ending. So this is a breakup. Now, it doesn't mean that it is with you, but this person is getting over a breakup, and they've, they've really taken it hard. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, hello. This person wants to take their time getting to know you, but oh, the sexual desire. What else? Oh, yeah. This is somebody that would stick around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Having the Aries Leo Sag, I want to mention as well. This person's reliable. Yes. We like that. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Cold, distant, yet willing to listen. Communication needs to be had here. Why the Six of Wands? King of Cups. Ooh, one or two more. Hair font. This person is indignant about wanting there to be a connection that is long term. Mm hmm. They think that you're a good pair, but they feel like there needs to be a, a better, more intelligent conversation about this. Okay. Clean deck. Source, what do we have for Aries? Who is coming their direction and what do they want? Who is coming their direction? Okay, Seven of Wands. So it can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone that's put clear boundaries up. Still has some courage. Ten of Wands. There's that person that's hurt. So... It does feel like they're trying to take on more than they really can. Just really can't take as much as they have been. Yeah. <laughs> so they're holding back. They're trying to control their emotions right now. They're not very open. How do they view you? Ace of Cups. So they do care about you. I mean, that's... That's true love. That's very... Can be brand new, brand new, brand new. One more for their feelings. Four of Wands. Holy crap, Ola. This person definitely wants something long term. Can feel like a twin flame soulmate. You can meet them at a gathering, but it's wow. How do you how do you view this? Seven of Cups. Hmm. So you right now see that this is one of many options. <laughs> Yeah, and you're not wanting any competition and bullshit. It's like needless drama. We don't need you. We don't want you. How do you view this person, the hermit? They can be a bit on the shy side. Nothing wrong with that either. Can be a Virgo. Why the hermit? Queen of Swords. It kind of wraps into your minis. Now, this is having clear, concise communication but it there is no feeling between the hermit and the queen of swords how do you feel 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 the moon you're not sure if this is just bullshit or not it's like is this person leading you on that's how you're feeling and then you have the five of swords uh yucca puck you have two fives which are conflict so are you conflicted about how you feel about this person what's the mutual energy with this connection page of cups 
<sighs> so this does feel like something new. You both could be holding on to residual shit that's like, I don't want any drama. I don't want any fighting. I don't want any anything. And not be as approachable. New, upright, reverse, old. New. This does look like it can go somewhere, but you're really holding back. This is something that's going to take some time. Can be another Aries. Moving forward, does this person reach out? Yes. It does look like this could be something new, a new beginning, a new chapter. This is real. I mean, it is very nice energy for new. Oh, look at that. You got your own damn card. Moving forward. So I do feel like this person will reach out. I do think this is new energy coming your direction. With the moon there, there's things that you don't know about them. But, you know, let's face it, that's new. You know, you don't know everything. So that can be a bit making you feel edgy and making sure that you can trust this person. This is a date. This is somebody asking you out. And something that can lead to a long-term connected dating but it looks damn good. I mean, wow. You guys have been having some really nice energy for love. So it can be an Aries. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Pisces heavy. I just don't understand. Look at that. They want to date. They want to have a connection. They are interested in you. Why does this person feel like they have so much on their plate? Eight of Swords. What is this person holding back? What are they holding back? The Magician. That's a lot of power. So are they holding back because they don't want to be too pushy is kind of what I'm getting. Because then you have the King of Cups. So they don't want to be too pushy. But they really have a lot of interest in you. That's the Empress. So it can be a Libra or a Taurus. But wow. Anything else for why this person could be holding back? Knight of Pentacles. They, I really feel like they know that they have to take things slow and methodical with you because you're kind of putting your foot down with that Queen of Swords. It's like, be careful. I will cut you out if I have to. So <laughs> they, they really feel that you get to know me and do this the right way or forget it because the shit that I have dealt with in the past... A lot of conflict. I think that you're causing kind of your own inner struggle because I don't think that this person's going to treat you like an option. I think that they, you know, they're like, yay, give me some Aries. Let's get let's get a peek at all the signs that are in here. Yes, yes, please be intimidating. Yes, be, don't be intimidating. <laughs> Take the compliment. This person has a lot of courage to be able to stand up to the Aries. Okay, this is saying, I really want this. I want to work to... You know this I want recognition and um, they know you're stubborn so they're dealing with your stubborn energy and going holy shit this is gonna be hard to break through on this one but it's worth the effort because it goes forward in a very nice way all right let's see what we have we have Aries Leo Sag Gemini Libra Aquarius waters heavy cancer Scorpio Pisces they know that your boundaries are very, very tight, okay? And that you're still holding on to an old story, so it's going to be a lot more work. But they want to they want to move forward. It also can be that you need to resolve your past so that you can. Because there's a lot of, you know, and it's on your side. Yes, roles can be reversed. It can be this person that's holding back a little bit. This isn't, you know, ignoring you. This is really just going within and really trying to think. The Seven of Cups can be so many different things. Wishful thinking is one, but it's also clouded, you know, clouded confusion. So many things up on the table that you're not exactly sure what you want. And that is more on your side. But this looks like a really nice connection. Some planning, going on a date. There is interest, positive messaging. Pisces is heavy up here, but all signs are, and of course, Aries yourself. They are almost being careful to not be too pushy because they want something longer term. I don't think that this person would, you know, tell you that because you'd be like, listen, dude or dudette, you're kind of whacked here with how you're thinking. Yeah. You know, it's like, I just met you. Let's get a yes, no. Yes, no, for Aries. 
New person. What do we think of this new person source? What do we think of this new person? Judgment is a yes. So that, again, is movement forward. And the magician is also a yes. It's initiating something new. It, that's beautiful. I mean, that, that's really nice. Really nice. This is a new cycle. Okay. I like Yay. it. Let's get a timing. Let's see if we can get a timing for you. Don't shit on my cards, Wookie. Timing for Aries. When might this happen? Ooh, look at that. In a few weeks. Anything else, Source? Yeah, it's it's on the uh, sooner side. You got a few weeks and one to two months, so pretty nice. Will Aries dig this person? Fuck yeah, you will. All right. <laughs> So what we have for you, Aries, and on we go to Tauruses. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Elemental quickies first. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, what do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? All right, investor, investigating, oof. Pushy, heavy on that Leo. This person's not patient. They want to get the show on the road. Ooh, you might be making them wait. Mm -hmm. But that's growing interest as well. While you're looking out, it's like, yeah, something's got to be chosen here. A decision has to be made. But it's like, let's do this. Let's do this already, Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Mm. The world. Ooh, a new chapter or ending a cycle. What else? What else? What else? Okay, one more. This person is not content without you. They feel like this happened, that you, the two of you have been very on and off, or this happened way too quickly. So this person's waiting. They're waiting for a new beginning. They're waiting to have, you know, a piece of you, basically. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Emperor can also be an Aries. What else? Very stoic, very in charge, Ugh. very confused, but they want something long term. One more for that. What the hell with the Seven of Cups? You know, dreamy, 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 but full of full of holding back. That's not emotion. This is somebody that's working on their own finances right now. They're not offering emotion. Uh -uh. Nope. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have, Source? The Barracuda. Why do we have the Queen of Swords? Very witty, very dry. Oh boy, you're gonna get it. This person's not happy. Woo! Judgment reversed. It's like they're they're calling you out, calling your ass out. One more for juggling, juggling your emotions, juggling your feelings. Fucking with their happiness. It's like, what are you doing? Are you happy with me or not? Is this going somewhere? Yes? No? So they feel like you're, you know, kind of putting them off a little bit as far as emotions and not letting on to how you feel. Like you're leading them on. Okay, clean deck. Source. Person most on Taurus's mind or in their energetic field. Who is coming their way? Okay, there's the... Oof. <clears throat> okay, this person wants to come back and retrieve what the hell is theirs, but they're not doing it in a very passionate way. This is like, this is my territory. Well, first of all, Taurus is not a territory, but they want to talk. Okay, the King of Swords was reversed. I'd say he's, you know, being manipulative, but this person's just serious. Very serious. They want to work on this. They want to put work into a connection with you. They want to move forward. The Five of Cups reversed. Again, wanting to, you know, this isn't moving away. They miss you. They want to try to work on this. How they view you. How they feel about you. Love. So this can be... It can be somebody new seeing that you're still not over your ex as well, but let's just see how you view the situation. 
clear and concise. So this is a breakthrough. Ooh. One more for how you view them. Okay, so this is showing that you yearn for them as well. There is passion here. It can be an Aquarius, can be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. But this is this is very, very forward movement. It's action. It's honesty. It's sometimes a little bit blunt. How you view them, how you feel about them is King of Wands. So you think they're courageous, outgoing. They make you kind of happy, fun to be around. Kind of. Hush. But you're not talking to them right now. So why are you holding back? Why is Taurus holding back? What's the blockage here? What is the blockage? Judgment. Okay, why judgment? Something needs to be brought up. But this does look like it can be a reconciliation or a new chapter. The Empress. Mm, this is a very good sign that this is going to be an abundant connection. Working together. So there needs to be more working together. But this is... This is really nice. They think that you're a good pair together. One more, because I'm not seeing that that's a freaking blockage. Not at all. Magician reversed. Somebody's feeling powerless about this and still wants to make an offer. You're over here a bit more held back. Are you still stuck on somebody else? It's like, I'll be clear. I'll tell you the truth. But who are you dreaming about? Uh, let's see. X reversed. It's the X. So the person that hurt you and disconnected from you is why you're holding back. The deceit that you had from the person from your past that you are not talking to, that you learned a lesson from that made you feel extremely defensive, you're still thinking about them. Does this new person reach out? So that can be why they feel the need to not act emotional they're afraid of getting too involved that you are still stuck on your ex it's almost like you are stopping any forward movement it does look like you will still hear from your ex but it's not going to go anywhere you're going to still feel shitty after that and then it will piss you off and make you irritated even though you feel like that is the one for you that's a counterpart it's not going anywhere. So the person from the past that you are still stuck on or have emotions for, it's not going anywhere. Can you go forward? Yes. Are you creating your own boundaries and your own pains mentally, emotionally, and physically and putting more work into the situation than there needs to be? Yep. You're making it more burdensome than it needs to be. One more for this Three of Cups. King of Cups. This person has a lot to offer. So, you know, I guess you're going to have to clean up your own damn baggage before you move on. Roles can be reversed, yes, but this is a connection. Two people that feel equally about each other. And you're still holding on to the lies and the bullshit and the person that held back their emotions, that manipulated the situation and wanting a new start. Just saying. So, this is saying you need to do a little bit more healing because there is somebody that wants to come in. There is. I feel like they see your loss and you wanting this person to come back. But they want to work on a connection with you because they could see a start with you. This is, they feel like you dodged a bullet and that you'd be better off with them. Just saying. You have two counterparts here. You have a counterpart with the person from the past. And you have a counterpart with the person that could be coming your direction. It's really going to be up to you. Do you want to repeat history? If the energies don't align and even out and that person doesn't put any work into it, it won't work out. It can be an attempted, yes. This also can be an attempt at a reconciliation that's not going to work out if, if there's lack and doubt and guilt. You really need to think about this. This is a big turning point that's coming from, you know, from past into it's like a, a colliding into which chapter which way do you want to go because this person that is coming your way 
is very sexually attracted to you, has interest in the empress that sits on their throne, wants to treat you like that, and collaborate with you, work with you, be a team. So you have a choice to make. So let's see, signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I don't think that it's that you're not interested in this newer person. I feel like it's just that you're still kind of putting newer on the back burner until you can really figure out what the hell. It's like you got a headache here. Shit, now what? You know, can be an Aquarius. You're really going to have to make a choice because that, that person from the past, you're waiting for them to come back. You have a new offer coming. Can be an Aries, Cancer, Leo. But all signs are up here. <coughs> Source is telling you to take a break. You learned a lesson from whatever happened with this person from the past. But you still seem to want, you know, you still seem to have emotions. And wanting that breakthrough, there can be a breakthrough either direction. But you got two aces up here. You're going to have to make a choice. Well then, okay, let's get, let's get a little clarification. Source for the new person, new person for Taurus. What is the energy? Yes, no, maybe. New person. You have the emperor. Very powerful. And the hangman, maybe. You have two maybes. Pisces, Aries. It, why are you just sticking out there? Strength is a yes. So, but strength is also holding back. So, after you figure out that the past is not coming back only to haunt you, then you can move forward. Really got to think about that one. All right, and let's get a timing card for you. When might this happen, Sorbs? When might this happen? It's time to plan. And no rush. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Let's get the dice out. Let's get the sassy dice out. How will Taurus feel about the new person? Fuck that. Okay. Ouch. Well then, that's what we have for you, Taurus. And on we go. On we go to our fine Gemini's. Okay, Gemini's. <laughs> Just a hair bow headed. <laughs> Gemini is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. Five of Cups. This person wants to come back and try to work things out. They want to regain what they feel they have lost emotionally and miss you. Mm -hmm. They feel that they are reliable. They're really thinking about you. They miss you. They want to start up again in the bedroom first. Just saying. But it's like they do have a very promising offer that they bring to you. The Knight of Pentacles is reliable. Slow, but reliable. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Mm. Gemini, Libra, ooh, ooh, love. Something new. New offer. Oh, 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 oh. A fish in a cup. A fish in a cup. Let's keep this nice. This person wants to start small, get to know you, and have a connection and relationship. That also can still be this person here, but this looks really nice. It's like, I have a really nice message for you. I have an offer. I really can see us together. That's really nice energy. Girl, not a oh, God dang it, Wookie. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm not even repeating, just in case you didn't hear what he said. The lover's reverse, Gemini. What's up with that? Disappointment or problems in love, but oh, the emotion is there. Why the Knight of one? This is somebody that want again with the wanting to regain what they have lost, but they're they're really in between. I want to go in. I should hold back. No, I want to go in. They're trying to get courage. They're trying to get courage because they do care about you. Ooh. Yeah, so let's hear about the voice. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I'm kind of liking your cards here thus far. Two of Wands. Okay, so that 
that's this feeling of growing emotions. Don't touch that, Wookie. It's expansion. It's a choice between two paths. So let's see what we have for choices. All right, the moon reversed. This person's anxious. Why? Because they want to get back together. What else? Anything else? They're really going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, trying to figure out a way of how to come at you to reconcile. Can be a Pisces as well. All right, let's get a clean deck for you. Interesting energy. Clean deck. All right. Source. Person. Most on Gemini's mind or in their energetic field. Who is coming in their direction and what the hell do they want? What do they want? Okay. Okay, Ten of Wands. So somebody that's really bogged down, causing themselves the emotional burden. <laughs> this person wants to come your direction and make an offer, and they are holding back. You also have the moon at the bottom of the deck. We're pulling it out. They want to be responsible. They want to boss up. They want long term. King of Pentacles. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel? Their actual feelings? Three of Cups. That's reconciliation. That's getting together, making things work. Something to celebrate. So there are emotions here. One more for feelings. Three of Rods. Okay, so there again, this is expansion. They feel like they're hold, they're holding back. They're waiting, but they're waiting for the ships to come in. So they're waiting, anticipating, expecting this reconciliation. That's what they want. How do you view this, Gemini? The million dollar question. The million dollar judgment. Well, it's not terrible. So you're thinking about this. It's like, do I forgive this person and have a new beginning? Do, are they going to take accountability is the question. But it does look like you want them. That is the Eight of Cups. It does look like you want... Look at what's right underneath of it. King of Pentacles. This is somebody that you do want in your life. However, I feel like there needs to be an apology or something set straight. Page of Swords. You've been watching this person. You're trying to collect data. You're trying to see what they're up to. So you could be in, in a period of no communication. Bottom of the deck, you're trying to use your intuition. It's underneath of that. Seven of Swords. You, you're holding back your feelings right now. What is the blockage? What is the blockage? The hurt and pain. Oh, I hate to say this one. I'm about to fuck this shit up. Okay, so the blockage is a third-party situation. This person showed interest to somebody else. There was male or female, Queen of Wands, can be an Aries, can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. But this painful, this this is like, I don't want this, but it's like, here's the question. Is this person going to change? Will this person reach out? Will this person reach out? I really have to look at these cards. Right now, They, I feel like... Look at that. They want to hold on to you. Baby, hold on to me. Whatever will be, will be. They don't want to let go of this. One more for that sassy queen. Oh, yeah. Knight of Wands. So that's player action. Bottom of the deck, now you have the Hermit. So there's a period of trying to learn a lesson. But are they going to change? This is player bullshit. Sorry, guys. I am very sorry if this resonates. They put you in a third party because they had a little bit of a roaming eye and thought that thing, you know, the grass was greener on the other side of the fence and they ran into some fucking concrete because, ooh, look at now. Queen of Pentacles. They want to be your counterpart. You consider them the same. Can you forgive this person? Can this move forward? Can you forgive this person? All right, you have the ten. Five of Pentacles, reverse. I really had to look there. Look at the teardrop. That's emotional poverty. That's this feeling of loss, and it's reversed. 
So if you're not in communication, it does look like there will be communication. But somebody feels stuck. You have the magician reversed. You could feel that that person manipulated this. More than likely. But you, you're, you're also showing this lack. Okay? And the page of wands. You know that they're still interested in you. You're very capable. How they see you. I mean, they see that you got it all going on. And that you're still able to take care of yourself. Even though you're not wanting to be single. You just also know your value and your worth. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, nobody is worth being cheated on. Mm -mm. I don't give a shit where they were, what they thought was okay. They screwed up. And they tried to hide it, I will also add. You still have emotions for this person. Yes, you do. These are pages. These are immature energies. The immaturity of the, the petty, it's petty to sit there and watch somebody. What's your intent by doing that? This can also be trying to get somebody jealous, okay? But there needs to be a change. You don't want this done. They still love you. They want to reconcile. They want to come back home, if you will, but they're not sure if you're going to allow it. They want to bring that cup back in. Okay, so let's get some answers for you. This is going to be a turning point. It is your call. It's your call. Are you willing to forgive them? Because it does look like they are sorry. They are sorry. They should have acted more responsible. They should have known better. Well, they should, did know better. Okay, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Heavier, this is a hurt. This is old wounds. This isn't something fresh just yesterday. Aries, Leo, Sag, again, Pisces, Scorpio, are you going to take that cup if they bring it to you? Are you going to take that offer? Can you forgive that person and actually let go of it so that the two of you can work on things together? That's what needs to be decided. Okay, let's get some answers. Let's get some answers. Going to get the birthday tarot or out. It's the Major Arcana. We haven't seen before. I think everybody pretty much has, unless you're new. I'm feeling this one. Yes, no, maybe so. We have a yes. Oh, we have a double yes. There's judgment again. That's a call for action, and temperance is the moderation. This can be too, there needs to be healing, but there needs to be communication. There needs to be something to be able to move this forward, but it sure does look like it can. You got a double yes. Okay, and then let's see if we can get a timing. Timing, timing, timing card. Source, when might this happen? One, 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 one. You got one. Oh, look at this. Right underneath that. It's time to work. Yes, it is. One to two months. It's something that you would have to put work into. And we're also getting the fuck dice out. Does Gemini want to work on this? Fuck that. <laughs> you think they need to do the work. All right. That's what we have, Gemini. And on we go. Get your card down here. Two Cancers. Okay, Cancer, Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. Aries, Leo, Sag. Ugh, unrequited love. Do we even bother continuing? What else? Why is this person not feeling the same way? They're looking at going into a different direction. They haven't completely made their choice up right now, but they have friends on you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why don't you just hold a sign up? <laughs> slow and methodical, slow and methodical. Why? This person's holding back because of some drama. They feel like they've been lied to, deceived, or that you always have to be right, or that you could be dealing with somebody else. So that, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. See what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're thinking that you are in a different connection, I really feel. Or started something new. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more shuffle. Mm. 
I'm sorry. I miss you so much. Is it's a pudding? It's been so long. <coughs> One more, maybe two. Okay. This person and you are not talking. They're thinking about you. They feel like it's been too long. It's too much. It's too much burden. They miss you, miss you, miss you. I want one more. Nah, I don't think you're going to hear from that person. They're holding back. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They have no balls. That's what it is. They need to inflate their nads. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This person does not see you as reliable. Then you got the world sideways. Why is the world half cocked? They haven't made a choice just yet. They're still thinking about this. But they kind of turn their back so that they can make a choice. You got two threes. I do think this person wants to collaborate and have something, but because they still have emotions for you. But there's something that they feel about you is not reliable or that you were kind of bossy. Bossy, just saying. Rolls can be reversed. All right, clean deck. Source. Who is coming Cancer's way? And what the hell do they want? Okay. All right, so the Barracuda is coming your way. Bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. This person means business. They're shut down kind of emotionally. So they're thinking the King of Swords really thinks about things. They're beyond doubting that this can go anywhere. Why the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Why the Seven reversed? It's like it was a waste of their fucking time. Oy vey, fuck that shit. How do they feel, feel, feel? Okay, come on. Seriously? So this person feels like you wasted their fucking time and that you're a drama queen and overreact to everything. Bottom of the deck, you have the devil. But they're still stuck on you. And they still have hopes for the future. Why the star? I'm being Aquarius. Why the star? Because they still have passion for you. This person still cares. Does not look like they're talking to you. They're really doing some thinking. How do you view the situation? Okay, you're holding back. You feel like there's nothing that you can do. Why are you feeling stuck? Because you, you feel like this person just doesn't want to have anything to do with you. Not even like to be a friend. They have nothing to offer. You might be feeling like you have nothing to offer. How do you feel about them? Queen of Wands reversed. All right. Are they an attention hole? Hot temper? Doesn't consider other people? So you feel like they're being inconsiderate? But you still... Both of you, what the hell here? Mirroring each other. Yeah. Happy horse shit. The two of you have got to learn how to work well together because you both feel the same way and yet you're both dropping it. Will this person reach out? Don't choke the baby. No, they're not reaching out. What is... Let's see, do you want to reach out? You might. You might reach out. There also can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming your way. Tell us more about the King of Wands. No, you're not reaching out. That's hesitation. Why don't you... Eight of Cups. This is a situation that was hard for both of you to move away from, and yet neither one of you want to make a move. You're talking major, stubborn, stubborn. How does this work out? Very, very slowly, because both of you right now are just watching each other. One more for the Knight of Pentacles. Just dropping it. Just dropping it. Nobody is making any move. What could be new coming towards cancer? New, new, new. Can be Taurus. Can be a Libra. This is getting back on your game, though. Feeling better about yourself. Can be you feeling, you know, somebody that's coming your direction. You are. Look at how pissed off you are. If they did come your direction... 
Yeah, I don't know if there'll, there'll be much left of them. So it can be heavy on the Libra coming your direction. It looks like you are kind of uh, trying to see if there's life after this person. Okay, but right now, it's frustrating. Why is this frustrating if we have somebody else coming your direction? Why the frustration? High Priestess. You're holding back. You're being quiet. You're trying to use your gut feelings. You're keeping the secrets, but you're trying to get a vision of what, what things could be like. Nobody wants this done. One more for the high priestess. Nah. Now you might not feel the same way about them anymore. Or you could have felt that they emotionally manipulated you. It, because it's just going back to this. There is somebody that's coming your way that could be a better match for you. Or this is just saying, if this was more balanced, I'd feel better. And then we could be happy. So... The, Right now, there's major blockage. This shit is not moving. One more for the Ten of Cups. But neither one of you want this done. Not done, not done, not done, not done. This cycle is not closed. Not closed, but nobody's budging. Not right now. Your energy is so damn stuck, it's crazy. So, Cancers. You could have a Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces heavily. This is going nowhere fast. Going nowhere fast. Frustration and blockages. Frustration and blockages. There needs to be a change. You want there to be more balance. You want them to stop being a horse's ass. That I can definitely see. But the balance can be there. If this person, according to you, mans up, girls up, stops acting so conceited and like you don't matter, there has to be a mutual balance or this feeling of that person not caring. Look at the look at the how good you could be together. How good you could be together. This does look like it could have been a soulmate type connection. That there was a very tight bond at one time, but this person to you feels just like they just don't care like they used to, that it's all about themselves. So you don't feel like there's anything that you can do. So you're just kind of sitting there with your eyes closed, not wanting to see the situation for what it, you know, what it, you see it for what it is, not what it could be. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's still thinking about you. They're still daydreaming. Aquarius. Leo, heavily. I don't know who's more stubborn. Libra. But they're, I mean, they're hurt. They see, they feel like it's done, but they don't want it to be done. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Scorpio again. Capricorn. Okay, let's get, let's get out the yes, no deck here. Source for Cancer. Will these two try to see eye to eye and work together. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Temperance, yes. And Wheel of Fortune, yes. So, yes. If you are looking to see if this person that you're in, you're on the outs. Straight up on the outs. Such stubborn energy. This can move forward in a very positive way. This is good luck. This is uh, healing, but it's like a together type healing. So, you know, it's really going to be whoever budges first. All right, let's get a timing card. Timing, timing, timing source. When might Cancer's person get off their dead ass? Yay, <laughs> good Jesus. You have in another lifetime. Oh, shit. And then you also have unexpectedly, so I do feel, whether you believe in that or not, that this was a twin flame soulmate connection. If you don't understand that, Google that shit. All right, let's see. We're going to get the fuck dice out. Does Cancer want this person back? Think long and hard. Fuck yeah. Think long and He sighs. Why do you sigh? Shame on you. All right, Leos, let's do it. Source, Elemental Quickies. Rawr. If you are dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Ooh. 
can be new dating coming your direction taking a chance spending time with somebody can be heavy on that aries hangman why the hangman this person knows the hangman is to know that this would be fun that this could be go somewhere and that it could be a really nice investment for, you know as far as their feelings i like it i like it i like it i like it I don't feel that they're holding back. I think that it's the, they know that they could put work into this and that it would go somewhere. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Mm. All right. I'm the one that's supposed to growl here. You're the one that's supposed to growl? Yeah. You do so, so very well. This person misses you. So it looks like they moved on and now they're regretting it. What else? They want to be happy. Well, isn't that a shit pit? Hmm. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <sighs> One more. This person is not happy with the choice that you made. It feels like you made the choice that you could have ended this and they want to offer love. They still feel that you would be good together, and they think you are ignoring them on purpose, holding back your feelings, and avoiding talking to them at all. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, boy. Yeah. So you got the Wookiee of Swords reversed. Not a happy person. Very, very stoic and shitty. Holding back. Ugh. Does this go anywhere? They had too much cheese. They had too much cheese. There's a blockage here. There isn't any talking right now, but that does look like they still have passion and want to work on this. So give that a little bit more time. This seems like a very arrogant jackass that needs a little more time because they are stubborn as hell. Okay. Clean deck. Source, who is coming Leo's way and what the hell do they want? Leo, 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 Leo. You just answered the question. I'm singing to Leo, do you mind? Okay, so it can be an Aries. Oh my. <laughs> What's this person's intent? This person can lack some experience and be a bit impulsive. I will. Oh, shit. I'm not telling you yet. This per There's too many people involved here. This is somebody that's just toying with you. No, 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 no. This is somebody that has sexual interest, but they're full of shit. There's too many people involved here. I don't like it. Ace of Pentacles, reverse. They're not offering anything. How do they actually feel, feel, feel? So you got a fuck boy coming in your direction. Three, yeah. See, the page of swords reverse can mean that there's too many people involved, and yet it's a secret. So, you know, you got to be careful of that. But the three of pentacles is teamwork. Well, I don't think, are you into threesomes? Because unless you're into threesomes, you ain't going to want to mess with this fool. How do they feel about you? How do they feel? Feelings, feelings. Knight of Cups. I think they're a schmoozer. I really do. You got the two pentacles reversed. I don't think that, you know, they got other options and they're just not nah, fuck it. They're whacked. They're not balanced in the head. How do you view the situation? Four of Cups. No, I don't find it amusing. You're like, you know what? I, I don't really dig this shit. <laughs> I don't think you're interested in that. Justice. One more. Page of Wands. You know they're a flirt and that they're immature. You're like, you know what? I got a little karma for you. It's called this thing of balance. Not interested in your bullshit. How you feel about them. You do have feelings for them. They excite you. One more for feeling. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, this is really a big-time schmoozer. They're very good at what they do. Five of Swords reversed. 
This is the type of person that, you know, comes back again and again just for a piece of ass. Ah, sorry. Mutual energy. Moon. Fears, unknown, hidden truths. Happy or shit can be Pisces. No, you're worth, apparently, it's a good piece of ass. <laughs> it must be a good piece of ass. This person could be dealing with other people as well. Just saying. This is something that you feel like you should be ending, and yet you're not. So if this resonates, what is uh, new? having fun? Some of them are having fun, yes. Okay, this is like a la carte. Daydreaming, I have whatever I want. You're just an option to me. And then the sun, there you are. So, you know, some of you, this is just like, you know, it's not going anywhere. There can be another Leo coming your way, but you know that this isn't going anywhere with this person, that they are not going to stick around. Six of Cups. It's not the best of memories. Mm-mm. 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 It's like they might be good in the sack, but they don't stick around. Nine of Pentacles. They want to be single. They lack discipline. They only play with you. you cannot play. So it's just a matter of when do you stop tolerating this shit? Because you're kind of getting bitchy about it. Ooh. Yeah, you are. So if you're, you know, if you're starting to get a feeling, if you're catching feelings, it's time to cut it off. Because the world here, it says this is kind of over. It's time for a new beginning. What can be coming their direction? What can be coming that is new? Eight of Pentacles reversed, okay? Reminder from Source that this is just not going to work. Okay, yeah, the frustration. Okay, so you're frustrated because it's not going anywhere. But you're not letting go of it. Why are you not letting go of it? Hmm. This is kind of like you're kicking your own ass for what the hell you let yourself do. And that's catch feelings. Yep, defensive. Uh, don't take them on as a challenge to think that you can fix their boo-boo of having, you know, commitment folds because it's not going to work. New, new energy, new, 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 new. Yeah, you're, it's just not moving anywhere. Source, what do they need to hear? Okay, you've been made a choice between two people. This is sexual. Queen of Cups, you're not going to win in this situation. It's going to make you feeling just emotionally empty. And you are, you know, if you want a connection with this person, you're going to be waiting a hell of a long time. It would be a lot of back and forth. One more for the hair font. Two of swords reversed. You will not like their choice. Mm -mm. Okay, absolutely single, 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 singles. Knight of Wands reversed. That's still a fucking player. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. It just keeps up. Player, 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 player. Wheel of Fortune. Change your own shit. You need to make a change. You need to change how you think about the situation or it's just going to continue on to the cycle. King of Wands. Doesn't get any better here, guys. King of Wands is a bigger version of a playboy, playgirl. And what you're doing is you're, you're recreating. You're causing it. You're allowing it to happen. Look at the pissed off of the didness. If you try to get a connection out of this person, long term type thing, it's not going to happen. They're going to manipulate. They're going to keep doing what the hell they're doing because they just want to be single. Anything for absolutely single, single, single people that are, don't have five of wands reverse. It's competition. We're not getting anywhere. We're going to quit. Because this person is going to hold back their their emotions, and you should as well. Eight of Wands, it's going to get to a point where you, you aren't even going to be talking to that person. Wow, not sure. I hope this doesn't resonate for any fucking buddy, because it's like you just got major player action, and you, um, you attach feelings to it, and now it sucks. So you're trying to concentrate on other things, but it's not working. Not working at all, because they look mighty fine in those jeans. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's very good at swoony, swoony. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. Have you been hypnotized? Good question. Can be a Gemini. 
Uh, you know that you let this go too far. I, you know, I'm going to have to say that again. The world. It's time to move on. Seven of Cups. It's like there are options, but you're still wishing upon something else. And it's just not getting any better. It's not helping. Knight of Cups. Schmoozer. Empress. Knows their value. Know your worth. Know your worth. This person's going to keep you guessing until they're done. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They have nothing to offer that's going to be reliable or trustable. It's not happening. Aries. Heavy on the Aries. The Fool Reverse was the first card out of the deck. And that is somebody that's fucking with your brain. Messing with your mind. Not playing well with others. All right. Source. Yes, no, maybe so. Will Leo get their head out of their tushy? And find somebody new soon. Well, that disconnected. You have maybe and no. So you need to end whatever the hell. If this resonates for you and you've got a, a player coming in and out and acting like they've got one foot in and one foot out, the hair font, you got a maybe. And the commitment is not going to go anywhere. You got to know maybe, maybe no, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. They won't commit to anything. They just bounce kind of in and out at their leisure. Let's get a, let's get the fuck dice. Leo's. Fuck it. Sideways. Fuck that. That's the one I'm thinking is more for you. And on we go. Okay, Virgo. Elemental quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source, what do we have? Ew. You got a stalemate, this person, and you are not in a connection, and right now, just holding back. You'd be waiting. They're waiting. Yuck. I'm not going to go into that any further, because we'd be here. Okay, this person's sexually just cutting you off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. They have no interest. So, oof. They're thinking. What are they thinking about? What do they think they know? That you're watching them. Well then, that's special. So they feel you're a stalker. That's very special. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, Seven of Pentacles. What else? Temperance. Mm. This person has patience to wait for this to grow into something. What else? Oh, it's an ex coming back. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to regain their composure so that they can come back your direction and try to work with you to heal things. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Okay, boom, this is done. Boom! Done. One more. Uh, yuck. Okay, so this person that you are in disconnection from still wants to come and offer something. So I would expect to hear it from them with probably an apology after they, um, I don't even know what. But there was an ending here. There was a problem between two people. Doesn't mean it has to be anything major, but, you know, we're going to reserve our comments until we get a deck out. Okay, source. Person most on Virgo's mind or in their energetic field. Who are they and what the hell do they want? Okay, so it can be a Libra that you are dealing with. That is justice. And then you have the Seven of Cups. This person's... It's like the confusion is clearing up and they know what's right. Okay, so one more for justice. Chariot reverse, but they're not making any moves. So you got a coward point. Coward! Going the wrong fucking way. Why? How do they view you? Why is right? They still have a lot of passion here. This is saying, I want to reach out. Hmm. Why are they a candy ass? Five of Wands, did they put you in a position where there was competition? 
feelings, 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 feelings. Got to be better than that. Strength reverse. Irritation. <sighs> really? That's a ballsy bastard. One more. Nine of Pentacles. They think that you're smothering. Or this person is not liking being alone. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. They, it's like they, you know, recognizing this ending, but they want to make something right. How do you view this situation? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, one more for the Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. This is reaching out. So this is somebody that, now this can be you working on your finances and this person reaches out to you, but it's fast action. Can be you online talking to other people. It doesn't have to necessarily have anything to do with them because it does not look like you trust them. Five of Swords. You're talking some bitter shit. Can be deceit. And what else? Ten of Swords. Well, who's Dunner? Who's Dunner? If this person reached out, would you talk to them? Because they're gonna. Two of Swords. You're not sure. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles for your thoughts? Six of Swords. Because you're trying to... You know what? It's like you're working and trying just to keep your mind on, on other things. You're juggling... You're, you're juggling your emotions. You're trying not to think about this person. Okay, why the Eight of Wands? Who or what is the Eight of Wands? Oh, looks like you have an interest in somebody new. Can be an Aries. Doesn't have to be an Aries, but this looks like you are online talking. Fast action. Fast communication. This person here reaches out to you. You're going to tell them to suck an egg. You don't want to talk to them. You do not want to talk to them. So it looks like you're moving towards the future for yourself. You're not as anxious as you had been about this. You're kind of just uh, acknowledging that it's done. Is this person going to make any attempt? Judgment. Yep. But it also can be them moving on. One more for judgment. Emperor. Oh, boy. They seem to think they're in charge of this shit. They th they know you don't have any interest in it. So they might have an apology, but they're going to sit on it. I hope, it's a, I hope there's a tack under it. They know you have doubt. You have the Seven of Pentacles. So tell us more about this fun fool. That's newer dating, newer talking, moving forward. And then you have the star, can be an Aquarius. But that's having hopes that this can go somewhere with somebody new. Yep. So you're just moving forward beyond this. You don't care. They're watching. That's nice. Let them see how good you look. Anything else for movement forward? Queen of Wands. It's going to make you feel really good. Can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you are moving forward. You're redirect. That's the Four of Cups. You're redefe re redirecting your energy and your emotions and who you are looking at completely. Nine of Wands, it's like, no, I don't want to have to be defensive with you, jackass. You just don't want to talk to him with the hermit. Re you know, you don't want to deal with it. Good for you. Good for you. And then you have the frustration that this person's feeling. Well, that's too bad. Too bad. Because, ooh, this was on and off. You got the Knight of Cups there. All right, Knight of Wands. So the person from the past is a jackass, a stoic jackass. The Emperor, oh, ho, ho, ho. very stubborn. Nine of Pentacles, they felt like you were, now this can be they thought that you were financially codependent or just generally codependent, but this is like the fighting, the bickering, the bullshit, and yet they, they still would come over and screw you. Well, that's very nice, but it does look like um, you're moving on to better things. They still have interest in you. I don't think you quite frankly care. The, you know, this is them being like, I, I'm really feeling like, no, I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. You're not. Well, you know, you might think you're right, but it's not getting you anywhere with me. Okay, let's go through the signs that you have on this side. So I feel like you're kind of just to, you know, stop thinking about that person, burying your head and work, but there does look to be communication with somebody new. Yeah. 
No reconciliation. You have yearning and desire for somebody new in that Eight of Wands. It can be somebody that's at a distance. But the Wheel of Fortune, it looks like it go in a very positive way. Very positive way. Six of Swords shows that you are emotionally moving on, saying that's enough of this shit. Enough. The Five of Pentacles, I don't even want to talk to this person anymore. I don't want to deal with it. Irritated. This person's a pussy anyway. Okay, so we have Libra, Cancer... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag. All signs are up here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, everything. Aries again. Yep. Okay. Let's get an answer. Let's get an answer. All right. Source with this new person. This new person. Can this move forward with this newer person? It can be online dating. You have a maybe. I think you're getting to know this person better. And then you have a yes. So this is initiation and movement forward. Getting to know somebody. Making sure that you know them well enough that you want, you know, would want. But it's manifesting. It's that rawr power. Go for it. Okay. Let's get the fuck dice. No, let's get timing. Timing card. Virgo. Source. You have three to four months. So not too far off. And then the fuck dice. All right. Let me have Virgo. Fuck yeah. All right, Virgo. That's what we have for you. And on we go to Libras. Libra. Uh, yes, the Libras in the house. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this person is wanting things to work out. They're thinking about you, but they think that you're stubborn. So this is being held back right now. Blocked energy, there's a lot of doubt. Can be an Aquarius. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, here we go. King of Cups, emotionally smothering or manipulating, they feel you are, and then they think you are ignoring them on purpose, like you are really ignoring them on purpose, not even wanting any confrontation, and that you're just <coughs> walking, walking, gone. Yeah, like you, did you ghost them? Did you ghost them? You might have, you might have, okay, or vice versa. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Magician reverse. That's no. This person's kind of a candy ass. It's like they they want to initiate, but then they don't. Nah, they're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of being manipulated. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Did I already say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? I don't know either. I think I did. Nah, it's still uh. Energy. Similar. Similar. Yeah, no, that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Two more. Okay. <clears throat> this person wants to come in out of the cold. They feel like they've been ghosted. They don't see that things are done, but they don't have the balls to approach you. So they do want to communicate, but hold them back a little bit right now. Clean deck. Source. Who is coming Libra's way and what the hell do they want? Who's coming Libra's way? All right, somebody from your past, somebody that you do know, somebody that you have fond, pleasant memories with. Bottom of the deck, you have your own damn card. So it can be a Libra. Why the Six of Cups? This doesn't mean that it has to be an X, but it can be a return of an X. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to offer something. Money, I hope. Give us some money, money. Four of Swords. You're not talking to them right now. Why the Six of Cups? Why this... 
Okay, so there's a lot of passion here between you and this person. Why the Four of Swords? Why are we not speaking? Okay, they aren't ready to talk, so they're just watching. How do you view the situation? How do you view the situation? No, Queen of Pentacles, you think they're unreliable? Selfish. And that things took too long or it was too much of a burden. How do you actually feel, feel, feel about this person? Hmm. They do make you... There is desire there. One more for feelings. But you don't feel the same way about them emotionally. It's like, I'm sexually attracted to you, but you're a fucking asshole. What's the blockage? The communication sucks. The emotional poverty. What else with the Five of Pentacles? Somebody could have ghosted the other one. This is somebody that's candy ass going in the wrong damn direction if they're even thinking about coming your way. They're thinking about you. So if they pop in your mind during the day, it's because they're thinking about you. But they're too afraid of being hurt and they're too afraid, period. The Chariot Reversed is a candy ass wimp and doesn't want to deal with reality. They don't want to deal with shit and they have a lot of doubt. So what is new? Nine of Swords, this person's anxious as hell. They can have emotional issues. Fine, what is new? New, 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 new. Ooh. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say that it still feels like you still feel like this is a counterpart you haven't completely let go. Or there can be an Aries Leo Sag coming your way, but it still feels like residual energy. You're still working on emotionally letting go. So you still got some baggage that you need to contend with. And you're not ready to move on. Do not sing. I can't do Disney. Elsa. <laughs> I can't do Disney. Come on, it's Disney. You don't wanna you're so you're avoiding it. You're you're just dropping it. That's just feeling like giving up. Done. Anything new coming their way when they clear up this energy it can be a Virgo, but right now you're going within. You're not ready to move on. You're not ready for a connection. You need to work on making yourself happy, and you're not sure how to do it. Not yet. Well, ick. Just a shitty day for energy. You will find your balance again. You will find... It's like... This is the one who knows. The hermit goes within and has knowledge. It can be somebody that's older than you. I just feel the need to say that. But it's wisdom. It's learning. But it's after this time of letting go, moving on, taking your baggage with you that you have to deal with because you did feel a lot of passion in this connection with this person. And then you got to a point where you're just like, I don't feel the same way about you anymore. And it made you feel moody and shitty. But it was like, whatever this was, they weren't reliable. They could have stepped out. Just saying. But they weren't reliable, weren't reliable, weren't. You couldn't count on them. They could have just been selfish, period. But this person's still imagining what things would be like if they made an offer and came in. Because they still feel that you're a good you know, couple as well. They want to make that offer, but they're not doing it. Okay. So we have Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer, very heavy. Leo, very heavy. Virgo, very heavy, but all signs are up here. Let's get a timing card for you. Uh, well, let's do this one first. Okay. Let's get a question most plaguing your mind. Yes, no, maybe so. Question most on their mind, please, source. No. Nope. That's the tower. It's a definite no. And then you have strength. So no to one thing and yes to another, but you need to hold back a little bit. The strength card is saying, <sighs> knowing when to push forward and knowing when to let go and when to boss up and be courageous. Okay. And then a timing card. Ooh, dumping things over. Source, when does this damn energy free up? 
Well, you can make it happen sooner and after a big change. So I'm not sure what the change is going to be. Let's get the dice. Are you interested in, in reconciling with this person? Fucking A. No, no, no. no. Fuck no. There we, go. we fixed that for you. All right, now we go to Scorpios. I'm going to fix the mess I just made up here. I'm trying to make sure these cards can be up here for you guys. And at the same time, it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. Er, driving me crazy. Er. Yep, she's already nuts. I am. I am already nuts. That's what makes us so much fun. Scorpio is dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. This person wants to reach out and talk. They want to get together. They want to initiate dating. Nice. Can be online. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, you have the Five of Cups reversed, and this person's bringing an apology, but they're taking the sweet-ass time because they don't want this to be done. So, mm, I feel like they're pouting. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two. King of Swords, they're out already. This person is emotionally distant and cold. Oof. Queen of Wands, what else? They feel, and I'm saying they stepped out. Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to work with you anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm not putting any work into this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They also don't think that you knew about the other person. All right. The chariot reversed in the Knight of Swords. Mm-hmm. So this person's bailing fast and ignoring you. They are going the opposite direction. They have no balls to deal with you. Okay, let's move this out of the way here. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Who is coming their direction and why? Who and why? Okay, you got the page of Rod. Somebody's interested in getting to know ya. Has some positive messaging. Hmm, why the Five of Cups? Because they miss you, because they have regrets. Why, 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 why? Okay, this looks like they snuck off or left. So regretting their decision. Mm-hmm. They're trying to manifest a new beginning. Okay, how do they actually feel? How do they feel? They want to initiate contact with you. Yeah. They've given this some thought. They've really, they're rethinking everything. They do have feelings for you. Oh, fucking, isn't that like a news fucking flash? They finally figured it out. So for a while, this person gave up completely and now they're trying to manifest. Why? Huh, you're looking good, huh? So, all of a sudden, yeah, they're regaining interest. They've been watching you. Oh, yes. You do not know this can be a Pisces, but they want a connection. They want to reconcile. Look at that shit. Yeah. So, this had ended. They don't want it to be done, and they feel a deep bond with you. How do you view this situation? Scorpios. Fuck you. That's what you're saying. Why fuck you? Because they bailed. Ooh. That's the chair reverse. Can be a cancer. Yeah, you are pissed off. How do you feel? You're moving forward. You're like, I moved on. I moved on to my, my life. After you took off, they could have ghosted you. You finally got your balance. You feel like things are right. The way that, you know, it's like, this is how it's supposed to be. How do you feel about them? No. Any feelings that you have for them, it's like you didn't want to let go of them, but they cause such negative emotions that you're just like, this is just not right. 
And then you have the star reversed. You have no faith in this person at all. Okay, what? Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to bother asking the blockage. You don't fucking give a shit. Two shits. So we do are the blockage. Good for you. <laughs> you are the piece of cheese that is blocking this situation, yes. You don't want to have anything to do with this shit, but they're coming back to try to work things out. What is new, new, new? You, you just, I don't think you're going to, you're like, this took too long. You took way too fucking long. You took off. This took way too long. You, why the eight of pentacles? They want to put work into the situation and then you have, yeah, they think they have an answer. They think they have this figured out where they can, I'll do this. I'll do that. I can make this better. Are you going to buy this? Ooh. Verdicts out because there is emotion here. So you're using your intuition. Can be a price as well, but this is the moon. You might not see this shit coming, but there's anxiety surrounding this entire thing. You still have doubts. It's like, well, okay, what if you bail again? How do I know you're not going to bail again? And they're over here going, I promise this is not going to happen that way. I have made my choice. I'm not the same without you. I want a new connection. Please forgive me. Are you going to forgive him? Can this move forward? Would Scorpio forgive this person? You're just really, you know, again, you might friends on them. Say, you treated me like an option. You're fucking confused and I'm moving on. I don't trust your toxic happy horse shit. I don't care if you say that you aren't going to do that anymore. Look at that. This page of cups reversed. It's like, no, I don't trust you. So there is going to be a breakthrough with this person. They are not going to like the choice that you make. They are not going to like that you're going to tell them no, that you do not want this connection, but it doesn't look like it, and that you would ignore them. You don't feel the same way that you did. You're moving on. So it can be an Aries Leo Sag coming your direction heavy in the Aries. But this definitely looks like somebody really just took off, snuck off, ghosted abandoned act like an asshole and you're going i there is no hope here things worked out the way they should have been yes you hurt me but i moved beyond it i have no faith in you at all wow okay tell us how you really feel scorpio they hurt you you don't want to have anything to do with this crap but they're gonna try they're not the same without you they're trying to manifest you they are. They're trying to manifest you, but you have no faith in this. You want what's right. You want somebody that's right for you, and you don't feel it's them, so that you're moving on. That's judgment right and the you. world. I mean, that's, that's a lot of moving forward in a positive way that's for you, making that judgment call for you, because you're telling them to fuck off after they bailed on you. So heavy on the cancer. Here's the Sag. Six signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, heavy on the Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. This is unrequited love. They caused it themselves. The memories that you have stick out in your mind that are bad. Not the good ones. Not the good ones. The bad ones. It's not going to stop them. So you've had a period of no contact. With the hermit here reversed. But that's like ignoring you. Vice versa. Can be either direction. But that's that feeling of being ghosted. And that empty feeling of why. Why did you ghost me? I thought things were going decent. You got confused and decided you couldn't, you know, commit to me. I went through so much and I had no answers. I didn't know what to do with myself. So the answer is no. And they aren't going to like it. They're going to drop their toxic stuff. They know what they want now. It's probably a little bit too late for reconciliation. Okay, so all signs are up here. Heavy on the Libra, Aries. Virgo, Pisces. Taurus. But all signs are up here. That was a really shit show story. And then uh, Aquarius as well. Okay, let's get 
Will something new come towards a Scorpio that they want soon? Will something you want and love come your way soon? You have no. Ouch. So you're still dealing with this. Okay, but it's getting there. It's getting there. You're still kind of holding back. But, you know, it's because of this ending and the pain that it caused. You know, that's like, what? That person puts you in major emotional crisis and you did not know what to do with yourself for a time period. Let's see if we can get a when this energy will clear up. If this resonates for you. Source, when does this energy clear up? Slow but surely, and then you also have December. All right, and the foo foo dice. The foo foo dice. What do you want me to call it? Sassy dice? Sassy dice. Fucking A. Question most on your mind. Okay, that's what we have for you, Scorpios, and on we go to Sagittarius. All right. I don't know if I'm keeping these cards up here. It's driving me bonkers. Yes, it is. Bonkers. Er. Bonkers. I'm losing my mind. Ish. Sagittarius dealing with another fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Temperance in the Seven of Wands. Hmm. One more. One more. There's a lot of patience in this person. <laughs> they want to stick up for this. They want to have clear communication. They want to come in fast, but they know that there needs to be some healing. Heavy on the Sag. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The hair font reverse. That's a commitment for what else? Eight of Pentacles. What else? One more. Okay. So they might be a commitment full, but they still want to be in a connection with you. I don't think that their fears about connections have anything to do with you. Mm -mm. I'd be careful, though. It could be one-sided. Like, you get too caught up in this, and they still are a commitment full. Also, heavy on the Libra. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, the Hangman. All right. So this person left you lonely. They damn well know what they want to reconcile after a period of not talking. They've really thought this out. This is somebody that felt like it was better at the time to move away from you for whatever reason. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Woo. See that dance it did? The sun and the ten of wands reverse. What else? This person's losing patience. They want to talk. So they want to be happy with you. Can be a Leo. They're striving to come your direction and try to maybe work things out, at least talk. All right, Sagittarius, talk is good. Yes, keep your pants up. Who is coming towards Sagittarius and what do they want? One more shuffle. All okay can be a Scorpio. You have death here. So somebody that's been through a change. Mm. Yeah, they had to work on their healing. You know, they had to get their strength back. How do they view you? At a crossroad. But they are sexually interested. <coughs> this is somebody that is very aloof. Okay, can be shy or quiet. It could be they think that you are just trying to use your gut feeling on this, but they want to come back your direction. So this is a connection that had ended, or this person went through one hell of an ending. But you know that's usually the turnaround there. You well, know, ask somebody from the past thinking about you wanting to reconnect because there's one hell of a connection here. 
All right, how do you view this situation? How do you view the situation? Oh, confusion. They're confused on if they want to talk to this person or not anymore. So there could be communication coming in from this person and then it just really fucks with your brain. It is somebody that you do want to be with or that you very much cared about at one point. That's abundance. It's like you made me feel good for a while and then you kind of just became unreliable and broke my heart. The sun reversed. Ouch. What are the actual feelings you have for this person? Feelings. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Ooh, you're holding back. Hangman. It's like there's something that you, it's like you just kind of gave up on it. Deep in thought, you know, indecisive. You could feel like this was a missed opportunity because you just let go. It took too long. So you took your baggage and went elsewhere. So, you know, this feels like they walked away and now they want to come back. And you're like, I just got over some of this shit. You're not going to see this coming. You are not going to see this coming. Will this person reach out? I'm not sure the hell it looks like it. Yep. Oh, they can't wait to get their paws on you. They are very excited to see you. Can there have been a distance put between the two of you for a period of time? Oh, do they want to talk? Oh, 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 oh. You're just not sure. That's fast. Okay, so when I brought up the distance, this can be a distance, but this can be like closing the gap in the distance between the two of you. Look at this. They're yearning. They're dreaming about you. They want to work with you. They want to make an offer. And I feel like you're holding back and telling them that you are getting a headache from listening to their horse shit because of the crap they pulled in the past. Okay, so when this person reaches out, what kind of reaction are you going to have? Oof, it's going to make you really think about it. Got up on the deck. They want that connection back. Are you going to want this person back? Can be a Virgo. This seems like, you know, there was a reason that there had to be a break up if it had to do with work or whatever the hell the deal was. <clears throat> but they just kind of wiped themselves off the grid. <clears throat> they needed to work on themselves. They needed to change. This wasn't personal. They do want long term. And they consider you wish fulfillment. They know they broke. They know they broke your heart. You have the three, and they've been watching. Well, that's you know all nice and dandy. I hope they had a telescope because there definitely was a distance, emotionally or physically. They put it there. Can this move forward? They're gonna try. They're trying to manifest this. They are going to initiate contact. So you're really needing to think about this. You know what had happened in the past. You know that you don't want a repeat of that shit, and you're pissed. So you might tell them to go fly a kite. Yeah, you're like, you know what? I don't feel the same way anymore. I don't trust you. I don't believe that you're sincere about what you're saying. You have major trust issues when it comes to this person. Wow, ouchity ouch. So you have potential, you know, and the confusion that it's causing. They reach out and you go, why? Why? Why now? Why now? I'm starting to feel better about myself. But you do care about that person. They meant the world to you. And now they come back and you're like, uh, you're turning my life upside down. Why? Can be Scorpio, can be a Pisces, can be a... Oh... Libra, Taurus, but this is like, holy shit, where did the, just out of the blue, out of the blue, you're going to hear from this person that you're right now thinking, no, yeah, you will, um, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces again, but I mean, there was one hell of a strong connection here, you're really going to have to think about what you want because there's going to be a decision that you have to make regarding this person 
All right, let's get an answer. Yes, no, maybe so. Question most plugging your brain. Source, an answer for Sag. Emotion. Yes, that's a new beginning. And maybe. So, <clears throat> whatever you are thinking most about, which can be a new beginning and a serious connection, does look like it could happen. Okay, that's what I have for you. Let's get a timing card. Source. When might this energy change for Sagittarius? Nine to ten. No, oh, that ain't very. Okay, so I'm kind of conflicted here. I feel this is going to depend on you and what you decide. If you have really made up your mind, then your energy will free up and you will meet somebody. If you are still stuck on this person, it's going to take some time because you have not healed. So it's going to be different for all of you. And the foo food ice. Question most on your mind. Fucking A. That's what we have for you, Sagittarius. On we go to Capricorn. All right. Capricorns. Source. Elemental quickies. Who do we have coming their direction? Here is Leo Sag. You are dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Very stubborn. Nine of Cups. Ooh. Somebody that is content when they think about you. Feels like you are wish fulfillment. Can be somebody. They just know that you're the one. Sorry. It's there. Yep. So this is coming back after a time out. But they figured it out. They took, they took an emotional vacay, and they figured out you are the one for them. Congratulations, fire sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy on the Libra. This is rightness, fairness. And then you got the Nine of Wands reversed. Why the Nine of Wands reversed? Come here, card. Okay, there's a trust issue going on here. This person wants things to be right. They, they just dropped this in the past. Seven of Swords, they could have just bailed, but now they're thinking about coming and making things right. They have positive, you'll hear from this person. They got something to say. And, and a fish in a cup for you. They want to make a nice offering. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Wands, hype. Ooh. This person <laughs> is refocusing, gaining interest on you, and it has to do with a lot of passion. This person's excited to tell you, let's do this. Let's get it on. They want to stick around. They want to stick around. They have given this some thought, and this can be somebody that you have dealt with in the past that didn't commit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, what else? This person's frustrated as hell. They don't know what the hell you're thinking. You're confusing the shit out of them. That's a pity. Mm-hmm. They got some karma. Oh, we don't feel so bad about that. So they're trying to nicely, friendly, gesture-y make an offer and then what oh yeah they want to hang around so this also can be somebody that you know through work at work or at their work but that's somebody that wants long term let me look at that again mm -hmm. frustrated confused you are confusing them but they got karma things are not going the way they wanted them to be you could have friend zoned them mm -hmm. but they are oh let's let's you know let's invest in ourselves all right, let's invest in this. I want to be with you. All right, who 
the hell is coming towards Capricorn and what do they want? They want the booty. <laughs> well, it's kind of looking that way. <laughs> so it can be another Capricorn. I feel like this is just them, you know, really being... There's that Ten of Pentacles. So they really have you on their mind. I know you guys got really screwed getting the devil card. But, you know, that's obsession. They're obsessed with you. They're not happy, emotionally feeling kind of lost. How do they actually feel about you? <laughs> well, this goes with the devil. They are obsessed and want to screw your brains out. So this is somebody that wants things to move forward. They're waiting. They're waiting. To pounce. To pounce is right. Okay, one more for feelings. Two of Wands. Hesitation means masturbation. So, you know, they're going to have to do the happy hand dance until they get their shit together. But they do have something to offer that is very balanced and fair. All right. How do you view the situation? Five of Wands. This was an argumentative, happy horseshit drama crap. Ten of Wands. It took too much of your time up. It was too much work. How do you actually feel about this person? Eight of Swords reversed. Why the Eight of Swords reversed? You finally kind of got over this. But you still have interest in that person. They make you feel good. You like the attention from them. Okay, so if they reach out to the Pentacles, you can accuse them of not sticking around or juggling okay so if they offer that connection that long term that ten of pentacles well you're not over them so you might just take that offer do you want to have this person in your life is what you need to answer because it's sure looking like you do that's somebody that wants to make things right the, the Justice card, it can be a Libra, but at the bottom of the deck, you have some really nice energy here. This person can't wait to see you. They want to talk. They have positive feelings about you. They feel very eager to talk, to move forward, to, you know, they want to show you attention. Yes, they want to screw your brains out too. Yes, they do. They're obsessed with you. But this is about timing. So it's going to be when you're ready for this person to come back around. Then this can move forward in a very positive way. One more for the wheel. This can be positive things after a really shitty karmic connection. But it does look like this person is going to offer that full-time, long-term commitment and be reliable. They could be well off, too. Just saying. They want to offer that to you and they want to be happy ooh Mufasa so they're coming in with truth dignity honesty an offer Aww. yeah I mean it does look very nice but then you have to wonder what the hell did they do to fuck things up in the first place so it does look like somebody from the past wants to come back around and I say that because of the two of wands reversed, okay? There's a hesitation. Why would somebody new hesitate? Why would they be all sappy crappy and feeling lost? You know, with how they feel about you? Why well, feel lost without you, but I want to screw your brains out? So if this was somebody absolutely new, you'd be like, there's competition. I'm not dealing with this shit. But this is figuring a way out of things and not being stuck anymore. It's like, I'm not stuck. I'm not telling the same story that I had been telling anymore. You know, I don't want to be juggled. Juggle me and I will be gone faster than you can pull your fly up, okay? But a lot of fire up here. Aries Leo Sag. This person makes you feel good about yourself. And this could move forward in a very positive, happy way. Between these two cards right here for outcome... Ooh. It's kind of something like it's meant to be, and it would make you feel extremely happy. That is movement, and that is positive movement forward. It's the destined to be, and this person wants to be in a connection with you. They they want to. This, you, boom, it happens. 
it's fast. <laughs> so expect somebody to come in. Like I said, even if it was somebody that was single that you did not date, they are obsessed with you. They could be working on a heartbreak of their own, but they are interested in you. Stalker. This is not even stalker. This is kind of a wimpy. You know, I mean, the two of wands, it's like, I'm hesitating. I don't want to make a choice. Wah, 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 wah. So you got kind of like a little bit of Wendy Weiner, but they're so excited. That Ten of Swords tells me this is old. You know, this is somebody not being done, not over you, not over the connection, and this is making a right situation of this. Wanting balance. Making things fair, that's offering that coin. I mean, that is a very good offer. Reliable as well. So Libra is up here. Taurus, Virgo. Oh, a lot of, okay, uh, Leo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of, a lot of Earth up here. And a lot of Aries, Leo, Sag up here. Very interesting story, but they are really, you are so on their mind, it's insane. Okay, let's get a yes, no, maybe so, for what's most plaguing your brain. So think of a question. Let's see what we get for an answer. Yes, that's the lovers. That's that tight connection, that deep bond, that knowing. And then you have the hair font. So this is somebody that you might commit to, but you're going to have to think about it. But are you going to want to be with them? Oh, 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 yes. Now, I'm not sure what the question was in your mind, but it looks damn good. Mm. Let's get a timing card for you and see when this might happen. Source. One, 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 one. One more shuffle. In the near future. And you also have September. All right. And then the foo foo dice because they're fun and I like them. Yes, no, maybe so. Caps. Fucking A, baby. All right. That's what we have for you. And on we go to the wonderful, the sexy. Aquarius. Okay, it's got a mini deck. Elemental quickies. Okay, Aquarius, before I start, um, this deck was brought up as a question of what this deck is, and it is like the Monopoly, but it is the game of life. It's in the description box below. So if you look down in the description box, um, it's, I don't believe it's on Amazon. I got it through, I, I want to say it was kaleidoscope.com. So I just wanted to address that question. Um, I will also try to do so in comments as well. Okay, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. <coughs> or a Wookiee. Yeah, you growl. Okay. Why the Eight of Cups? person's just kind of feeling like they can't do anymore. They don't want to look your direction anymore. They don't feel like you're reliable. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but ooh, you got a counterpart here. So they do have emotions for you, but they're just kind of giving up. They are on their merry way, fast and furious away. They're determined. Determined to do what? Remains to be seen, because they still have emotions for you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, a Libra. Why not? Two of Rods. Okay, what path does this person want to take? Kind of came out sideways. Page of Swords. All right. They're making a de determination. So right now they're trying to learn about you. They want to come your direction, though. They got a lot of lo 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 lovies going on there. They want to do it. They want to do it. 
they have a lot of sexual interest here and they have wishes that this can go forward so they can be um sitting back watching on the sidelines right now but give a little time and they're coming in fast and furious because you are the star after all they are concentrating on you cancer scorpio pisces yearning yearning cancer scorpio pisces okay so the fool wants to come back try to work things out start over do over do over after a broken heart okay so this is new <sighs> they caused a lot of confusion I still think they're confused honestly what else but they do have emotions for you so it can be a Gemini and an Aries as well but they want to come back and at least try to talk things out okay Taurus Virgo and Capricorn if you were dealing with the Taurus Virgo cap they want you to be eaten by a fish. This is reconciliation. They are not over you. Ooh. They want to have a conversation and they want to put more work into it. So it's like they do have love to offer, but then they know they have to be up, upright, straight, come at you right, or it won't go anywhere. But they are not over you. All right. Let's get a clean all right. Meeny, 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 meeny. Okay. Source. Person most on Aquarius's mind or in their energetic field who is coming their way and what the hell do they want? And here they come. Somebody wants to come in and get all dreamy steamy with you. That's affection. That's asking out on a date, showing you that they do care. Why the Seven of Pentacles? They're trying to decide. They're really trying to decide. They know that they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna be put through the ringer. It's like I want to come in and, and bring this in and and you know see if this is worth working through. So they want to talk, get to know you can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is somebody that sees you as long-term com commitment and connection. Look at that. Ugh. So their actual feelings, yes, they have feelings for you. They have feelings for you, and this is a responsible type person. So do they want to fight for this? Yes, they do. This is somebody that sees your clear boundaries. What else? Woo! They see you got it going on. Holy crap. They are obsessed. They're going to be obsessed with you. So this feels quite new, I'm going to say, for now. But wanting to bring an offer, put the full investment in and watch things grow into a long-term connection. They want to stick up for this, and they see you as, wow. Okay. Very independent. Very capable of taking care of yourself. How do you view this? The chariot. So you're determined. Well, you can definitely see that with the nine of pentacles. What are you determined for? What are you determined for? Happiness. Well, can be an Aquarius coming your direction, but this is your, I feel like this is, I am fucking determined to become happy. I'm determined to have whatever's coming my way is going to make me happy or I'm going to trample on over it with my two damn horses. How do you view this person? Okay, so that's that you are thinking about this person too. And there's that two of cups. So this is something that you might want to invest your time in that you daydream about. Still does feel new. Mutual energy. Nine of cups. Holy shit. There's nothing negative here at all. So this is saying wish fulfillment, being content with somebody, somebody that you feel you know. I'm going to also say that they can remind you of somebody from the past, but, you know, growing, it's making memories and growing feelings. Aww. Yes, aww. Keep your growing feeling in your pants. Okay, so they want a long-term connection. This is somebody that has a lot to offer. It's going to feel like that twin flame soulmate 
type of feeling. Look at the bottom of the deck. It's the fish in the cup. This is somebody that has a positive message and is basically obsessed with you. That was at the bottom of the deck, so that popped out again. This person really is infatuated with you and wants to stick around. They need, they need to have communication, but I'm really feeling it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius heavily. And I'm feeling this is you saying it's, it's basically going to be absolutely good or no, but you're daydreaming about this person. You're thinking about them and you feel like you would be content with them or when it comes up, you sure the hell will. So a lot of water up here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Chariot is so determined. It's like, this is going to happen. I'm going to get this person. Okay. Very, very determined. And I don't think that they're far behind you because of the obsession. So let's see. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Earth's up here. Capricorn's up here. Taurus is up here. Aquarius. This could definitely lead into something very fantastic. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, let's get a yes, no source. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's go with that one. So temperance. That's spending time together. It's balanced. It's getting to know somebody. Ooh, and the empress. That's a mutual, that's abundance, it's expansion, it's growing, can be a pregnancy, just gonna say that, so, you know, hush, Wookie. but this is definitely a positive connection, this would make you feel absolutely wonderful, wow, yeah, it was. hush, Wookie. Yeah. <laughs> let's get a timing card for you, let's see if we can find out when this is coming, hush, Wookie. Yeah. Oh my lord, I'm going to medicate you again. <laughs> Try, I don't need luck. Stop fondling the tarot reader. Oh, whatever you like. It. When needed the most. And then we have November. Okay. Nice. Let's get the foo foo deck, or the dice foo foo. Question, most on Aquarius is mine. Yeah, fucking A. Everybody's getting a fucking A today. It's like they're loaded or something. Seriously. Fucking A. Say, I'm sorry, Aquarius. I'm sorry, Aquarius. Thank you. All right, now we go to Pisces. All right. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have here? Okay. This person is very hurt. They know that it's an ending of a situation. They're feeling the need to make a choice, but they don't want this to be done. Ten of Pentacles, they don't want it to be done, but they acknowledge that it's done, but they're not making a choice yet. Why? High Priestess. Mm, they're holding back on moving forward yet. I think they're trying to be a little bit more hopeful than they are going to let on. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. The lovers, heavy in the Gemini. Soul connection to people, emotions, caring, deep bond, clear boundaries. What else? Seven of Cups. Who went and fucked that up? <laughs> Who's confused? This person is. They're not sure that they want to make a full-time offer yet, but they still they still have feelings, so give it a little time. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. This person's not happy about a choice that you made or choosing not to even look at the situation the same way. Why? Because the Queen of Swords, they're pissed. Well, that's too bad. Why are they pissed? Probably because of the choice you made. They want this to move forward. They want to initiate action. 
What else? Okay, so they're regretting what they had done in the past. It could have been something sexual, but they are thinking about you and missing you. Mm -hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Might just be a damn pity. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a lot, but let's roll with it. Okay, this person just kind of went on their merry fucking way. They're watching you. I want to know who they're offering. You got two pages up here. I think that they have doubt because they think you have moved on. Well, if you bail, I bail. I mean, that kind of goes with the territory of becoming single, dumbass. Okay, clean deck. Some people need that spelled out. Some people do need that spelled out. Who is coming Pisces way and what the hell do they want? Who's coming their way or most in their energetic field? The devil! Well, how exciting is that? So it can be a <laughs> Can be a Capricorn. What do they want? Two of Wands. They want to get moving, moving. This person can have a wandering eye, I feel the need to say. But it's it's still not having made a choice yet. So, are they holding on tight? Or are they refusing to let go? Or are they refusing to open up? Okay, so this is an ex. They're, they're obsessed. You have possessed their heart. How do they actually view you? How do they feel hermit? One more. <laughs> okay, so they want to boss up and act responsible and be the one to take care of you. The hermit can be that uh, they think you avoided them for a period of time. Two of Pentacles, because uh, they confuse the shit out of you. How do you view the situation? Okay, you're fucking hurt. What else? And you're trying to work on your healing. You're trying to have patience with yourself with the healing and you want things that are correct. I think you still have feelings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can be a Libra. But you have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody that you have been in a long-term connection with. You felt like they were the right one for you. Feelings, 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 feelings. You... feelings. Shush, Wookie. This, this, this is showing you. You know, you you tried to let it go, but it keeps mentally circling back around in your brain. You miss that person. All right, is this person gonna reach out or do something that's not stupid? Ace of Wands, or they're gonna reach out? All right. Yeah, I'll tell you what they're reaching with. However, <laughs> you have your doubts. You're still, this is showing you guarded. It's like, you know, you might have a nice dipstick or um, I'd love to fall into your vagina, but I don't know if I trust you. Queen of Swords, you're going to let them have it. <laughs> so there's going to be talk before the pants come off. It's like the lights are staying on until you tell me that there's going to be a commitment. Four of Wands, but it sure the hell looks like there will be. Aww. What the hell was the blockage here? Did somebody just need a new asshole. <laughs> <coughs> Don't make me choke on my spit. <coughs> somebody wasn't supportive enough of your feelings. And they acted kind of cold. So that needs to change if this is going to move forward or it's going to end up right back at zero. So this person's coming in with a, with an apology. They want to f start over. This person could have changed. It's possible. The devil can change, yes. But this you're going to make them wait. They want things to move faster. But this can be a reconciliation that looks pretty damn good. They don't want to be single. They want you to trust them. 
Yeah. I mean, they, they wanted to move, you know, in, back in, back home, whatever the hell the case may be, fast. There was something about them with the past that just really, they got selfish. They got selfish with their emotions. They want to, they want to have home back. They, you know, I have changed. I have changed since we have departed. They can't stop thinking about you. They're ready to boss up. The Emperor. Can be an Aries. All signs are up here. Sagittarius is heavy. Capricorn is heavy. They cannot stop obsessing about you, thinking about you, and wanting things to go forward in a positive manner. They want you to choose to take them back. I really feel that that's what we have going on here. With judgment, it's a new chapter. And the two of pentacles. They've been juggling around this idea in their head for a while. You're still working on your hurt, but they do want to offer long term. We're going to say again, but it looks like they have changed. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn again. A lot of earth signs up here. Virgo again, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra. All signs are up here. Taurus as well. But this is, yes, I'll put a ring on it. Or yes, you can put a ring on it. You know, it's that, yes, I still care about you. You know, the, the problem is going to be that it has to be where your energy matches each other or it won't last, you know? Did, did they Are they going to be able to give you enough compassion and be there for you emotionally where before they had been cold? That is the problem. Let's see what we get for a yes, no. Source, Pisces. Answer for Pisces. Question most on your mind. I'm feeling the sneaky guy here. Yes. That's manifestation and initiation. That's moving forward. Then you have two yeses. That's definitely moving forward and very, very positive. Pisces. Cancer. Willful. Extremely. These two cards together. Extreme will. This person really means business. All right. Let's get a timing card for you. Source. When might this happen? Okay, you have worth the wait. Oh, and you also have it's not too late. Alright, and we're also getting the fuck dice out. The foo foo dice. What do we have for Pisces? You have fuck on. That's what you that's what we have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. Many blessings, and we shall see you next time.